Under American pressure, Finland, which shares a 1,340 km border with Russia, the longest of any EU member, is abandoning its tradition of military neutrality and joining the US-led anti-Russian military alliance, aka the NATO. While the president of Finland foolishly said joining NATO is not targeted against anyone, I don't know who he thinks is fooling, Russia described the move as a mistake, because there are no threats from the Russian side to Finland's national security. Meanwhile, the White House said President Joe Biden underscored his support for NATO's open-door policy and for the right of Finland to decide its own future, foreign policy, and security arrangements. <laughs> yeah, the US respects foreign nations' right to decide their own future to extend that since the 19th century it has participated and interfered both overtly and covertly in the replacement of tens of foreign governments. And when I tried to count them, I lost the count. Haiti, Venezuela, Cuba, Bolivia, Honduras, Ecuador, Paraguay, Guatemala, Argentina, El Salvador, Brazil, Peru, Nicaragua, Iran, Syria, Iraq, Libya, Yugoslavia, and a long list of nations. Sweden may also join Finland's bid to ditch the so-called neutrality and join NATO's further provocation of Russia by joining the US and Ukraine in the Hedgehog War Games next week in Estonia, which is only 150 kilometers away from San. Petersburg. 15,000 troops simulating a war with Russia in Estonia can only be seen as a barking dog at Russia's door, an expression I personally liked by Pope Francis when he said a few days ago that NATO barking at Russia's door could have alarmed the Kremlin about the alliance's intentions in Ukraine, which might have facilitated Russia's anger and offensive on Ukraine. Finland's bid to join NATO will neither bring peace to Ukraine nor stability in the Nordic region, as Russia may feel compelled to increase its military spending to counter NATO's expansion. This offensive step may also bring Russia and China closer than they have been ever before, and hence drastic polarization among global powers. And I also wonder whether Finland realizes that NATO has a track record of war crimes in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria, and Yugoslavia, which doesn't really qualify it as a peace-seeking organization.